Batting eight, the left fielder, number four, Laney Mercer. Batting ninth, the catcher, number 15, Emma Wilkinson. And starting at second base, number five, Lily Dozier. And the rest of the Lady Tigers, head coach for Noah High School is Trey Dozier. Starting lineup for your Lady Broncos. Leading off the left fielder, double zero, Maslin Ottama. <laughs> Batting second, the third baseman, number 21, Carolina Itson. <laughs> Batting third, the shortstop, number five, Aubrey Porsche. <laughs> Batting first, fourth, the first baseman, number 13, Aubrey Ha. Batting fifth, the right fielder, number 16, Lorena William. Batting sixth, the designated player, number 17, Trina Jones. Batting seventh, the second baseman, number 15, Callie England. Batting eighth, the pitcher for the Lady Broncos, number 11, Haley Mir. Batting ninth, the catcher, number 23, Braylon McCain. Starting at center field, number two, Drew Hyatt. And the rest of you, Lady Broncos. Lady Broncos are assisted by Andrew Kiat, Jacqueline Ramon, and Jonathan Heflin. Head coach of the Lady Broncos is Beth Domain. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remove your hats as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. All right, everybody, welcome into the Neville Tiger Network. It's playoff softball as the Tigers have traveled down to Moss Bluff, Louisiana to face the Sam Houston Broncos. Stuart Shelby alongside Will Anders here to bring you this afternoon's contest. The Lady Tigers had a close one in the first round and uh, took out uh, well, Natchitoches, Central. Natchitoches Central, my bad, the Chief, Lady Chiefs there in Natchitoches. Uh, and now we are down here at Sam Houston. Uh, Sam Houston, a, a storied softball program, a couple of state championships over the last uh, few years. They played in the – they were in the semifinals, I believe, last year. State championship, state championship last, last year. Last year and uh, finished runner-up. That's yes. right. So uh, Sam Houston with a 19-10 and 10 record. It's pretty similar to the Tigers' 18-10 and 10 record. Yeah, the Lady Tigers come in with an 18 and 10 record, 22 in the power rankings, where Sam Houston, 19 and 10, they finish runner up in District 2, or not 2, whatever, District 5, 5A. I think it's 5, 4, yeah, or 5A. Yeah, one of those. They finish runner up to Southside. Yep, Southside, Barb, Denham Springs, I mean, not Denham Springs, uh, Sam Houston, that, that group. Uh, a lot of. Good softball plan down here in South Louisiana. The Tigers trying to keep that little hot streak alive. You know, they came out hot swinging the bats versus Natchitoches Central. Uh, dropped, I believe, seven or eight in the first inning and then a couple more and then held on for dear life as Natchitoches Central started coming back. So 
Well, we're glad to be down here. Looking forward to uh, bringing you some playoff softball. The boys, some baseball play pairings have uh, been released. We'll tell you more about that as we get in there. But you see the starting batting lineup on your screen there okay. for the Tigers, and they're going to be led off by Michaela Clark, the center fielder. First pitch to Michaela is in there for strike one. Defensively for Sam Houston, Haley Meyer is going to be in the circle. Braylon McCain behind the plate. Aubrey Hobbs over at first. Here's the next pitch by Meyer. It's popped up and out of play. The second baseman is Callie England. Over at third is Caroline Itson. Shortstop is Aubrey Porsche. Out in left field is Mazelin Altamont. The center fielder, Drew Hyatt, and the right fielder is Lorena Williams. There's a ball. Now it's one ball and two strikes on Michaela. It'll be Clark, Specs, and Specs. That's Boogie and then Shanice. Here's the one-two pitch. Called strike three. Got her on a nice little, like a changeup. There's one gone. And now Boogie Specs, Tiger Senior, shortstop. Boogie shows bunt, pulls it back, takes a strike. And Boogie pops one back into the stands here at Sam Houston. Nice complex. You can see on your screen. It's uh, all turf infield. Natural grass outfield, but turf down the lines. And all foul territory. Ooh, nice little pitch there. It's going to get boogie. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start off the top of the first here for Neville. And now Shanice Specs. Boogie's little sister. Kind of been rising up in the Tigers' order over the past few weeks. Takes that pitch from Meyer up and away. This ball grounded foul. Now a ball and a strike. I was reading the scoreboard. This ball chopped foul this time down the third baseline. Now a ball and two strikes. Really appreciate everybody here at Sam Houston. They've definitely uh, been very hospitable for to us. We get to sit inside and a uh, nice little press box here. The Family Solutions broadcast booth on the road. Here, here's the one-two pitch. Swung on and missed. Meyer strikes out the side. The Tigers get nothing in the first. Sam Houston coming to bat right after this. Strong teams accomplish great things by working together. The Neville Tigers and Origin Bank know all about the value of teamwork and the positive impact it has within a community. These strong teams have joined forces to support the Salvation Army of Monroe, offering a helping hand to an outstanding organization that serves people in need throughout Northeast Louisiana. Origin Bank and Neville High School have strengthened our community for generations and are proud to continue to enrich the lives of others. Origin Bank, member FDIC.
I'm Dr. Scott Shelby with Family Solutions. When you hear the words Family Solutions, you may not know that we're a comprehensive, strength-based counseling and psychiatric clinic. Family Solutions provides psychiatric care, individual and couples therapy, child and adolescent counseling, psychological testing, medication management. We also provide occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, and ABA therapy in one convenient location. For more information on how we can help your family today, visit FamilySolutionsCounseling.org. And we hope to see you soon. Mama DeLuca's pizzas are custom made, fresh to order right in front of you. We offer three different sizes of pizza, 9, 12, or 14 inch. Mama DeLuca's pizza is prepared to your order. The pizza cooks in less than three minutes. We have 16 different toppings to choose from and eight unique sauces to complete your pizza. In addition to pizzas, we offer to our customers boneless wings with your choice of a dipping sauce. Mama DeLuca's pizza offers delicious garlic parmesan breadsticks, freshly made to order pasta bowls. We're Mama DeLuca's pizza in the subway on Lammy Lane and we hope to see you soon. Welcome back here, Family Solutions Broadcast Booth. No score. So we head to the bottom of the first inning. Yep, it's going to be Maslin Altamont up for the Lady Broncos. First pitch to Maslin, low and away. Defensively, the Tigers are starting Bailey Elton in the circle. Catcher will be Emma Wilkinson. First baseman's Kennedy Moak. Over at second's Lily Dozier. Third baseman's Bree Roberts. That's Boogie Specks at short. A called strike on the outside corner. In left field, you've got Laney Mercer. The center fielder this afternoon is Michaela Clark. And in right, you've got Shanice Specks. That's your defensive lineup for the Tigers. Here's a 1-1 pitch from Elton. Chopped foul towards the Tiger dugout. Elton with the one-two pitch. It's outside. Bounces off of Wilkinson and the home plate umpire. This ball tapped towards short. Boogie up with it, throws across, and it gets away. From Kennedy Moog. She had to hustle as Altamont was moving down the line with the slap. And uh, Moog couldn't handle the throw. So Altamont reaches on the air. Put that one on the first baseman. So it's Caroline Edson. Now she plays third for the Lady Broncos. Runner starts, comes back. Pitch was down and in for ball one. It's a 1 0 pitch. It's and bunts this one foul. Throw back to the pitcher was a little low, but uh, respecting Altamont over there at first. Now it's a 2 1 count on Caroline Itson. A 
the pitch is hammered foul into the screen in front of the Sam Houston dugout. Changeup's going to get her. It's in way out in front of that one. And there's one gone for the Lady Broncos. First strike out of the ball game for Bailey Elton. And now Aubrey Porsche. Good pitch, no, didn't get the call. Right under the hands of Porsche. Porsche, Lady Broncos shortstop. Lifts this one down into left field for a base hit. Altamont's gonna round second, and that's gonna be as far as she goes. So a single here with one out. Puts runners at first and second for the Lady Broncos. Now back to the Lady Broncos, your first baseman, number 13, Aubrey Hobbs. Now it's Aubrey Hobbs, the first baseman. Aubrey takes that offering from Elton for strike one. Here in the bottom half of the first inning, brought to you by Williams Orthodontics. They have been with us all season long. Swing and a miss, strike two. The wind blowing out towards left field right now, probably about 10 miles an hour. It's a kinda pretty steady wind out there. Kind of left, left center. Fastball stays away from Hobbs. One ball and two strikes now the count. Change up is going to be looped into left and underneath the glove of Mercer. Altamont's going to be held at third as Laney Hustled in, but couldn't quite catch up to that one. Sinking little Texas leaguer. Back-to-back -back singles loads the bases for Sam Houston. A couple of outs that the Tigers would love to have back there, especially with the leadoff batter and right there. Another change up just misses low to Lorena Williams. Williams, the right fielder for Sam Houston. Bats from the left side. The call strike. Pitch from Elton's a little wide. Two balls and a strike now. Another pitch just misses that outside corner. Three and one. There's nowhere to put Lorena Williams. This is a, a point in the game where the Tigers need an out. Put one in play, get an out. Might give up a run, but they need an out. 
And they get one right there. Or no, they don't. That was strike two. I thought we'd gotten out of it. Yeah, three, I was one a little ahead of myself. A little ahead of myself. Now three two. Now it's three two. Yeah, Williams just couldn't hold up that check swing. Here's the payoff pitch. Grounded to Boogie at short. She's gonna throw high. Another run will come in, and now Sam Houston has plated two runs here in the first. Altamont comes in to score, as well as Porsche. You see Williams there. is here on the, the second era of the inning for the Tigers. You can't come here, and I think that's what Coach Chad Johnson's telling his, his ladies, who's out, he's out there on the on the mound, or at, in the circle rather. Yeah, you it's like you can't give them outs. You can't give these girls outs. Or free runs. Yeah, a couple of runs. So Williams reaches on the air. Now Trina Jones, the designated player. First pitch to Trina is inside. Umpire does not like it. He likes that pitch on the left-handed batter. He doesn't like it on the right-handers. Sees it a little differently. Two balls, no strikes. There's a 2-0. There's a strike. Williams has moved up to second. Tigers, do you have one out here in the bottom of the first? They've given up two. Now three and one. Strike two call. Now three balls and two strikes on Trina Jones. Strikeout go a long way for the Tigers right here to limit the damage. Here's a pitch. is grounded under the glove of Bree Roberts. Nowhere to go for Boogie Specks. Another run is in, and Trina Jones has an infield single. It's Hobbs that crosses. Now three to nothing, Sam Houston. Now batting for Sam Houston, the second baseman number 15, Callie England. So this will be Callie England. First and third again for the Tigers. Runner doesn't go. England fouls that one down the third baseline. Warm afternoon. It is a little warm today. There goes Trina Jones. 
We'll head first slide into second after even no throw. So now second and third. A one and one count on England. Swing and a miss. Now England down. Oh, one ball and two strikes. Big spot here for Elton. One two pitch. It's high. Two two foul back in the net. Two pitch change up stays above the belt. Ball four. Bases once again loaded as England walks. It's Haley Meir, not Meyer. Meir, M-I-R-E, though. He's handling the pitching duties for Sam Houston. Takes that pitch right down the middle. See that? Center field view shaking a little bit. I just hope that uh, the tripod <laughs> withstands it <laughs> doesn't fall over. You get a view from, of the sky. Sitting on top of the Sam Houston baseball bleachers. That's right. Find very resourceful here at the Neville Tiger Network. Find it anywhere. So Elton with an 0-2 count to Mir. There's that pitch. It's outside. Mir didn't offer. That's one and two. Mir fouls that one off her foot. And he specs. He's got a giggle out of some of the girls in there. Couldn't quite make out what she said. One two pitch again. Fouled off. Two pitch, fouled out of play. How many pitches has Elton had already? 40. We're just in the first, and there's only one out. Another foul ball out of play. Quality at bat here by Mir. Mm -hmm. 
He's in the eighth spot. That Braylon McCain on deck for Sam Houston. We flip back up to the top of the lineup. Change up. That's stuck in her hand. That's two balls and two strikes. Two pitch, lifted foul and out of play. Couldn't have guessed it. Let's see. It's ball lifted to. Boogie at short. She's going to make the play, and there's two away. Nobody moves up on that one. And after a, a nice at bat there by Meir, Elton finally gets the out. Now the catcher, Braylon McCain. Gonna say Braylon went after that one. No, ball and a strike. Tigers get out of this with only giving up three runs. That's a, I'll take that as a pause. There's a line drive, but right at Boogie Specs. That's going to do it for Sam Houston. They do get three runs on three hits. There were two errors, and they leave three on base. So we played one, Sam Houston three, Neville nothing. We'll be back after these messages. Do you suffer from frequent back or neck pain? Were you in an accident and can't get rid of those constant aches? Maybe you're someone who deals with chronic migraines and tension headaches. It might be time to see how Martinez Chiropractic can help you. The goal of Martinez Chiropractic is to reduce or eliminate pain in just a few sessions using the latest in chiropractic technology. Don't suffer in pain another day. Call Martinez Chiropractic today at 318-654-4310 or see him in person 1828 Tower Drive in Monroe. If you've been injured in an accident, you could be compensated in several different areas. You may have personal physical injuries. You may have financial injuries. You may have lost wages. These are all things that we can put our experience to work for to help you here at Parker Alexander. Commercial and residential highway. Call David's Mobile Detail and Power Wash for all your detailing and power washing needs and soft washing capabilities, too. They detail cars, trucks, ATVs, UTVs, boats, and even planes. They offer commercial and residential hot water power washing on nearly all surfaces, including concrete, wood, and stucco. Give them a call, 547-3233, or visit them online at davidsmobiledetail.com. Or stop by 2501 Washington Street in Monroe. David's Mobile Detail and Wash, proud supporter of of Neville Tiger football. Welcome back here. Family Solutions broadcast booth. Top of the second inning. Brought to you by Sleepy Hollow Furniture. Bailey Elton due up to lead us off here in the second. It's going to be four, five, and six for the Tigers. Elton, Moak, and Roberts. First pitch to Bailey was low. Pitch from Mir. Swung on and missed. (laughs) 
Nice little, it's like a little running fastball. Runs away from that right-hander. Now a ball and two strikes on Bailey. Foul back and out of play. Called strike three on the inside corner. The changeup gets Elton. And that's four straight Ks for Mir. Still waiting for a Tiger batter to put a ball in play. Yeah, no hits right now for the Tigers or just anything, <laughs> like you said. Yeah, it's Kennedy Moak's turn. Takes that low and away. Now this one has popped up, but straight back. One and one now on Moak. That's just a dirty little changeup right there as Moak's way out in front. Mears got the Tigers off balance. Swing and a miss. And down goes Moat. Make that five straight strikeouts. Number 21, Carolina Gibson. All right, Caroline Itson struck out her first time up. Shows Bunt. There's a throw down to second, and they're going to say that Aldemont is safe. Throw is kind of up the line a little bit, but a good one from Wilkinson. But Aldemont quickly gets to second. You can see here on the Parker Alexander replay, a nice tag by Boogie, but I tagged her on the hip. Porsche lifts this one into center, and it's going to be caught. Michaela Clark with a nice sliding catch is going to retire Porsche. And there's two away now for Sam Hughes today. And that's kind of a crosswind, if maybe. But uh, the balls have been sinking. And they're not really getting it more in the air, more or less on that line. Right. It's, uh, they've really barreled some up so far today. Aubrey Hobbs fouls this one over the Tiger dugout. Here's the one one pitch. Low ball two. Ground ball. Bree Roberts has it. Throw across in time. And that'll do it. 
Hobbs grounds out to third. Sam Houston only scratches one run on no hits. There were no errors and nobody left on base. Four to nothing's our score. We'll be back right after this. Winning is synonymous with Neville High School and Williams Orthodontics. Where the Neville Nation strives to finish strong on the field, court, or diamond, Dr. Kevin Williams and his staff share the same passion to deliver outstanding smiles to all patients in North Louisiana and South Arkansas. If you or anyone in your family are needing an orthodontic consultation, call the friendly staff at Williams Orthodontics to schedule an appointment so you too can be on the road to a winning smile. Williams Orthodontics says, Go Tigers! Here at Parker Alexander, we obtain justice for those who've been injured due to the negligence of others. Whether that's in a car accident, a truck accident, wrongful death, we also make our community safer. We hold violators accountable. Sleepy Hollow Furniture and the Falk family proudly support our Neville Tigers. Just like the wide variety of athletics and academics Neville excels in, Sleepy Hollow offers your premium mattresses and adjustable bases. Every kind of home furniture and just in time for your favorite season. Quality in-stock patio furniture ready for the big game. Come shop your Neville Tiger family at Sleepy Hollow Furniture. Four to nothing's our score as we're back to the Family Solutions broadcast booth. It's going to be Shelby, Mercer, and Wilkinson. That's 7, 8, and 9 in the Tiger lineup. Madison Shelby takes the first pitch from Mir. Low for ball one. A strike called right at the knees. A special thanks to Neville Principal Coach Mickey McCarty for bringing us some water. <laughs> we got here just in time to set everything up. Not enough time to go get some water. As that pitch called a strike on the outside corner. Here's the one-two pitch. Lined into right field for a base hit. The Tigers finally break the K streak, and Shelby lines a ball between first and second. And the Tigers have a runner aboard with nobody out here in the third. Lanny Mercer squares to Bunt. Bunt's at foul. Mercer once again trying to bunt her way on. That ball's got a lot of run on it. That pitch from Mir has given the Tigers fits. Let's see if Coach Dozier asked her to bunt again. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Mercer goes down. That's the catcher, Emma Wilkinson. Tigers try to get something going here in the third. Strike call. This ball lifted. To short, nice backhanded play there. A running back is Porsche to make the play. There's two away now. And back to the top of the lineup and Michaela Clark. Now batting for the Lady Tigers, the center fielder, number nine, Michaela Clark. The Tigers let off the third with the single by Shelby. Now trying to get something out of it. She remains at first base. Michaela Clark, who struck out her first time up. K 
Kayla fouls that one back into the screen. One ball and one strike now. Nice pitch there from Mir. One ball and two strikes now on Clark. Ball lined in the left. Another hit for the Tigers. Throw comes into second. And now there's two on for Boogie. Two hits here in the third after the Tigers. First six batters resulted in strikeouts. So a little life for Neville. Gain a little confidence here on Mir. And Boogie Specks, who can leave the yard, takes the ball low. Boogie gets a piece of that one. That's one and one. Runners on first and second. Pitch from Mir up and away. Two and one. Ball lifted, but in a bad spot, no. Lorena Williams comes in to make the play, and that's going to end the Tiger threat here in the third. Get no runs on a couple of hits, no errors, and they leave two on base. Sam Houston coming to bat. They still lead four to nothing. For over 140 years, football has been America's favorite pastime. With each season, traditions are passed down from one generation to the next. Much like one of our favorite pastimes, Jim Taylor Buick GMC understands the importance of keeping traditions alive. Cheers may change, mascots may change, rivalries may change, but one thing remains the same. Best seat at the game will always be the tailgate of a vehicle from Jim Taylor. Come experience what we're all about at Jim Taylor Buick GMC, now in Monroe. Welcome back here, Family Solutions Broadcast Booth. We enter the bottom of the third inning brought to you by Williams Orthodontics. Visit Dr. Kevin Williams today with office locations in Monroe and El Dorado. It's going to be Lorena Williams to lead things off for the Lady Broncos. Swings at the first pitch, lifts it into left. Laney Mercer's there to make the catch, and there's one away. Quick one pitch, one out there for Elton, just what she needed especially after the last two innings. Well, that first inning, the pitch count got up. It really wasn't that yeah, last bad. Inning was last not inning wasn't bad. Bad, yeah. correct. That first inning just kind of getting ahead and behind. Trina Jones is next up. Change up is fouled into the screen. A little check swing there from Trina. Trina singled her first time up in the first. Our only time up. Called strike. The outside corner. Elton ahead in the count, 0 and 2. Fastball misses away. 
Jones did not chase. Ball lined into left. Under the glove of Roberts. A one-out hit for Jones gives her her second hit of the afternoon. Now Callie England, she walked. Was stranded back in the first. First pitch to England, a little bit outside. Two and zero now. Ground ball to Robert. She's the second for one. Over to first, not in time, but a nice play by Bree to get the lead runner. Jones is retired at second, five to four. So now runner at first and two outs for the pitcher, Haley Meir. Mir flew out to short her first time up. Change up, stays above the belt. Ball kind of lifted to second base, and Lily Dozier's there to make the play. So the Tigers... Keep the Lady Broncos off the board here in the third. No runs on uh, one hit. There were no errors, and they leave one runner on base. We played three, Sam Houston four, Neville nothing. We'll be right back here on the network. At Marion State Bank, we're not just a bank. We're your neighbors, your friends, and part of your community. With branches in Marion, Farmerville, Sterlington, Drew, and soon-to-be West Monroe, we're excited to be growing alongside you. Whether it's opening that first savings account, buying a home, or planning for the future, we're here to guide you every step of the way. Don't forget about MSB Mortgage in Monroe. I'm Robert Lane. And I'm Ben Jones with Marion State Bank. And we live where you live. Marion State Bank, member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. It's tough being the king of the jungle. You need the best fitness gear to stay on top of your game week in and week out. That's why Shasta only knows one place to shop. Fleet Feet on Forsyth and Monroe. Shasta knows that the staff at Fleet Feet can outfit you from head to toe in the latest and greatest brands. Shoes by Hoka, OnCloud, New Balance, Brooks and more. Socks by Belega and Features. Apparel from Lululemon, Fiori, Brooks and Chicken Legs will keep you feeling great while you're staying in shape. So be like Shasta, stay fit, look cool and shop local. Stop by Fleet Feet today. Welcome back here to Moss Bluff, Louisiana. Lady Tigers, first time they kept Sam Houston off the board last inning. Got a couple hits last inning as well. They'll send uh, Specs, Elton, and Moak. That's three, four, and five in the Tiger lineup. Scratched a couple of hits, but couldn't get any, th any runs across last inning. On the top of the fourth, you got Shanice Specs. Takes a pitch up and away for ball one. Really do want to thank the Falk family at Sleepy Hollow Furniture. They've been the top half of the inning sponsor. As this ball is ripped into left, and it's going to be down for a base hit. Specs around first, and she's going to be into second with a stand-up double. First extra base hit for the Tigers. Maybe, just maybe, the 
Tigers confidence here on Meyer starting to turn. Now it's Bailey Elton's turn. Bailey, one of those strikeout victims in the second. Makes that pitch low. Takes a hack at that pitch a little bit outside. That's where Amir's been effective. Elton lifts this one over the screen and foul into the stands here, at Sam Houston. Lee. That scare you? It did. <laughs> Oh, there's another one. Did that one scare you, too? That one didn't. I saw that one. Okay. All right. One ball, two strikes to Elton. Tires with a runner in scoring position. Elton held up as Mir tried to sneak that change up by her. Two balls and two strikes on the Tiger pitcher. A foul ball. I think Bailey's dad's a little excited. Well, if you hear a couple of, he is. He's pumped up. He's getting behind the the tiger. Try to get that rally started here in the fourth. Here's the two-two pitch. Ball hit into left field. Left fielder Altamont is there. Bailey didn't get all of that one. She'll fly out for the first out of the fourth here for Neville. Now back the first baseman, number 22, Kennedy Moak. And now Kennedy Moak. Moak takes that pitch up and away. And Moak struck out her first time up. Makes that pitch on the inside corner for a strike, and it's two and one. So far, everybody, the top first six batters all struck out for Neville, but ever since, there's been two hits and a couple of flyouts. So everybody's put it in play. This ball hit into center field. The center fielder. Hyatt takes a few steps towards left, makes the catch, and there's two away. Well, now Bree Roberts, senior third baseman. First pitch to Bree is above the letters. The pitch from Mir, it's almost like it's a screwball. Watch your hand go underneath it. It's got a weird little spin on it. It's inducing a lot of pop flies. She blows that one by Bree. Yeah, this is not one of those innings where you want to lead off the inning with that leadoff double and get Yeah, nothing. strand her. Two balls and one strike now. Roberts fouls this back over the Family Solutions broadcast booth. 
I wonder if your truck's going to make it back there. <laughs> Oh, my truck's way over there. That uh, nothing gotten hadn't gotten near the network wagon. <laughs> Another pop up. That's gonna get in the stands. Get ready, Will. There. Uh, you got it. They'll make their way into the window by some point. I don't know. We got it. It's a pretty good little. It'd have to be. I've seen it done. I'm not saying. How many yeah. times have you been here? Not, not here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> Here's the two ball, two strike pitch. Swung on and missed. Roberts goes down on strikes. And the Tigers strand another runner. No runs on that one hit or no errors. And they leave Shanice on base. Played three and a half. Still, Lady Broncos four, Neville nothing. Strong teams accomplish great things by working together. The Neville Tigers and Origin Bank know all about the value of teamwork and the positive impact it has within a community. These strong teams have joined forces to support the Salvation Army of Monroe, offering a helping hand to an outstanding organization that serves people in need throughout Northeast Louisiana. Origin Bank and Neville High School have strengthened our community for generations and are proud to continue to enrich the lives of others. Origin Bank, member FDIC. I'm Dr. Scott Shelby with Family Solutions. When you hear the words Family Solutions, you may not know that we're a comprehensive, strength-based counseling and psychiatric clinic. Family Solutions provides psychiatric care, individual and couples therapy, child and adolescent counseling, psychological testing, medication management. We also provide occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, and ABA therapy in one convenient location. For more information on how we can help your family today, visit FamilySolutionsCounseling.org. Welcome back here to the bottom of the fourth inning brought to you by Williams Orthodontics. Four nothing, Sam Houston, your score as ba Braylon. Braylon McCain. There you go. It'll be nine, one, and two in the Bronco order. Braylon McCain flew out to short her first time up. She grounds this one to Bree Roberts. Bree throws across, and there's one away. That's the second inning in a row that. Elton's had a one pitch, one out. Yep. You know, you might be able to chalk that up on a little bit. You know, Sam Houston played for the championship last year. He's kind of have been deep into the the Division One playoffs the last couple of years, either Division One or Five A. And they didn't make and tremendously sloppy errors at first inning? No, the first one was kind of a hustle error as as Maslin Altamont's yeah, back up. Almost playing too fast. Yeah, I mean, Boogie had to get that, and she fired it over there, but technically was. But, you know, there was just a bad throw there early, but, you know, they settled down and uh, played good softball here. Now he's got to try to play a couple of runs if they yeah. can hold Sam Houston That's, where they are. We've seen that this year with Lady Tigers a couple times where they have had, exploded. Have, have strub, had had struggles scoring runs and leaving runners on in key situations. It's going to be out in front and they're not going to get all the month. What? She is fast. I mean, she gets down that first baseline. Watch this, this little Swing and bunt there on the slap. Man, no no shot at getting her. She was already down yeah, first. So, uh, Chalk that one up as a hit. That is a hit. And now Carolina Itson. Carolina is 0 for 2. She struck out and flown out. Uh, it's it's going to be hit by a pitch. And now two runners on with one out here. It's Itson's first time to be on base. Allamont's been on base all three times. She scored the first two times she got on base. And now Aubrey Porsche. Porsche is singled and scored and flown out to center. Now batting for your Lady Broncos, the shortstop. 
That flag is steadily whipping on that pole out there. It is. PVC pole out in right center is doing work. Ball ripped into left. It's going to be off the knee of Laney Mercer. One run is in. Here comes run number two. Porsche's digging for third. The throw's coming in, and she is safe. A two-run triple for Porsche. That ball was hit hard. Look at it here on the replay. That Parker Alexander right just, it just back skipped up the middle. right into the leg of Lanny Mercer. So two runs now in for Sam Houston. They lead six to nothing. We're running on third and one out. Now Aubrey Hobbs takes a strike over the inside corner. It is six to nothing now in favor of Sam Houston. Change up to Hobbs, stays up. Oh, now at 81 pitches. Here. You know, we saw her go, I was that? I don't know if that was OCS or whatever. She went like about 90 pitches, and then they I think spelled her to Mogan. Then she came back in and finished the game. That was OCS. Yep, there's a chopper, and Bree Roberts snags it. Nice play, and a nice play at first by Moak. To pick it off the ground, the run will score as Porsche comes in. Porsche. Porsche. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to get it right. I, I got it right the whole time until then. Uh, but Hobbs. Grab right here. But a nice. You know, Bree is a tall young lady. And a nice job to come down and make a throw across. Second time, Hobbs is grounded out to third today. And now nobody on for Sam Houston with two outs. And Lorena Williams, who is hitless on the afternoon. She did reach on an error back in the first. Flew out to left her last time up. Raina fouled that one off. It was inside, but fouled off her hands. Change up. Hammered foul down the first baseline. One ball, two strikes now. The count on Lorena Williams. Nice pitch. Just inside. Two balls and two strikes. It's Chad Johnson. Sitting out there. Didn't like the call. It's a 2-2 pitch. Ground ball. It's fielded by Boogie and over to first. Now that's going to do it for Sam Houston. But they get three runs on two hits. There were no errors, and they leave nobody on base. Sam Houston, seven, Neville, nothing. We move to the fifth. Mama DeLuca's pizzas are custom-made, fresh to order right in front of you. We offer three different sizes of pizza, 9, 12, or 14. Inch. Mama DeLuca's pizza is prepared to your order. The pizza cooks in less than three minutes. We have 16 different toppings to choose from, eight unique sauces to complete your pizza. In addition to pizzas, we offer to our customers boneless wings with your choice of a dipping sauce. Mama DeLuca's pizza offers delicious garlic parmesan breadstick, freshly made to order pasta bowls. We're Mama DeLuca's pizza in the subway on Lammy Lane, and we hope to see you soon. Do you suffer from frequent back or neck pain? Were you in an accident and can't get rid of those constant aches? 
Maybe you're someone who deals with chronic migraines and tension headaches. It might be time to see how Martinez Chiropractic can help you. The goal of Martinez Chiropractic is to reduce or eliminate pain in just a few sessions using the latest in chiropractic technology. Don't suffer in pain another day. Call Martinez Chiropractic today at 318-654-4310 or see him in person 1828 Tower Drive in Monroe. If you've been injured in an accident, you could be compensated in several different areas. You may have personal physical injuries. You may have financial injuries. You may have lost wages. These are all things that we can put our experience to work for to help you here at Parker Alexander. Seven to nothing's our score here from the Family Solutions broadcast booth at Sam Houston High School here in Moss Bluff, Louisiana. It's going to be Shelby Mercer and Wilkinson. Seven, eight, and nine for the Tigers. Madison Shelby let off the third with a single, was stranded. Kind of got the ball. Tiger offense sparked. Here's a 1-0 pitch. It's downstairs, ball two. Three and oh, is that one just above the belt? Low ball four, and Shelby's aboard again. Lead off walk. The baseball team is in action as their first round matchup has been set today. They will travel to face Hanville. I think they're playing Thursday, Friday, and Saturday if necessary. All the 5A baseball or the Division I baseball playoff rounds or two out of three series. We'll have that for you here on the Neville Tiger Network. Laney Mercer at the plate now for the Tigers. Once again, tries to lay down a bunt. Bunts it foul. No balls and two strikes now on Laney. Laney, another one of the Tiger seniors. Shows bunt again. She's going to pull it back. Swing and a miss. Mercer goes down on strikes for the second time today. Emma Wilkinson. Emma flew out to short her first time up. Pops this one into the stands. There's one away now for Neville. Do you have a runner on first? Wilkinson lifts this one into the left and off the glove it goes. Shelby thought about going to third. She kind of had to hold up to make sure that was going to get caught. It was off the glove of Altamont and left. So Wilkinson, I won't give her a, was a tough play. Is it a hit? Yes, yeah, a hit. We'll give her a hit. We'll have a courtesy runner. That's that's going to be Austin Searles. Running for Emma. We're back to the top of the lineup and Michaela Clark. So two on and one out for Michaela, who singled her last time up. First pitch to... Miss Clark is high. The called strike. 
Nice pitch on the inside part. Kayla showing bunt, pulls it back. Chops this one to second. Double play as Porsche fields it herself. And that's going to do it for the Tigers here in the fifth. We had no runs on one hit or no errors. And they leave one runner on base. Sam Houston seven, Neville nothing. Sam Houston coming to bat right after this. Mama DeLuca's pizzas are custom made, fresh to order right in front of you. We offer three different sizes of pizza, 9, 12, or 14. Mama DeLuca's pizza is prepared to your order. The pizza cooks in less than three minutes. We have 16 different toppings to choose from, eight unique sauces to complete your pizza. In addition to pizzas, we offer to our customers boneless wings with your choice of a dipping sauce. Mama DeLuca's pizza offers delicious garlic parmesan breadstick, freshly made to order pasta bowls. We're Mama DeLuca's pizza in the subway on Lammy Lane, and we hope to see you soon. Do you suffer from frequent back or neck pain? Were you in an accident and can't get rid of those constant aches? Maybe you're someone who deals with chronic migraines and tension headaches. It might be time to see how Martinez Chiropractic can help you. The goal of Martinez Chiropractic is to reduce or eliminate pain in just a few sessions using the latest in chiropractic technology. Don't suffer in pain another day. Call Martinez Chiropractic today at 318 654 4310 or see him in person, 1828 Tower Drive in Monroe. Looks like it's going to be Trina Jones leading things off for Sam Houston. Trina's two for two with a couple of singles. It's going to be Jones, England, and Mir. First pitch to Trina. A little outside. It's going to be six, seven, and eight in Sam Houston's order. Two and oh now. Ground ball. That's a fair ball. The throw over is in time. Bree Roberts retires Jones for the first time this afternoon. It wasn't a one pitch out to start the inning, but the third straight inning that the Tigers have retired the leadoff batter. The second baseman, Callie England. Callie has reached on a walk and grounded into a fielder's choice, so she's been on base both times. She's come to bat. Drops a bunt down to Elton. Elton has to make a quick throw and gets her. Nice play by Bailey, the senior, I think this, to retire Callie England. This ball bunted anywhere a little bit to the left or right. Yeah, I think England might run that out. Yeah. But uh, instead, two outs. Two away now. now and Mir. Haley Mir, the pitcher, who's kept the Tigers off the board while in the circle for Sam Houston. She lifts this one into right center, and it's gone. Mir got a piece of that one. And right under the Lady Broncos letters on the scoreboard, it goes. A solo shot with two outs. First home run we've seen today. Makes it eight to nothing, Sam Houston. You know, she hit it. It looked like it hit it hard, and I didn't know if it was going to stay up. And it cleared that six-foot fence out there. By about a foot. And look at it here on the replay. Just yeah, she got good wood on it. Right over the yeah. Boogie just ran out of 
ran out of uh, room there. And now Braylon McCain, the nine-hole batter, takes a pitch there from Elton High for ball one. Fastball stays up. Three balls, no strikes now to McCain. Ball four, and McCain reaches for the first time this afternoon. Now you got the speedy. Yeah, you got all of them on. Uh, has uh, reached on an air single. She's one for two officially. She was hit by a pitch, but she has been on three times and scored three times. A pinch runner there for McCain, the catcher. Looks like that's going to be the end of the day for Moak. Or, excuse me, Moak will come well, in. Moak will come in for Bailey Elton. Yep. And uh, that was 96 pitches for Elton. And while we have a chance, we can keep it. We can keep it here. I mean, it's uh, pull up the uh, tennis. Yeah, so tennis did win regionals today. Uh, boys and girls. Boys and girls. Yes, let me pull that up. As. Uh, uh, boys single champion Mitchell Spence, finalist Will Cruz. Boys yeah, he played. they played each other. It was <laughs> Spence versus Cruz, okay. Boys doubles champions Benton Anselone and Maxwell Butler. That's a, re, you know, uh, Maxwell and big brother uh, of Benton, Brooks Anselone, won the boys double state championship last year. Get a good look there. Uh, here about here at uh, Kennedy Moak. Let's see, uh, yeah, the finals they, they played uh, Benton and Maxwell played Nick Leha and Will Brown in the finals. Uh, and then girls singles, uh, Alex Reynolds uh, reached the finals, so she does, and Ella Ruth Klug uh, reached the semifinals, and the doubles, Sarah Hinkle and Emerson Glover. Uh, beat their teammates, Peter McGregor and Amelia Hunt. Uh, so, all everybody qualified for state next week. Tigers going after uh, the boys, going after a back-to-back -back championships there. That's going to be at campus at ULM. We'll try to have as much of that as we possibly can for you. Busy week next week. Oh, yeah. So Again. <laughs> again. This is Altamont, and she lines a single into left. Altamont is on base for the fourth time today. Her second single. The pinch runner from McCain moves up to second. And now Caroline Itson, who is hitless today. Two runs, and they could end this one for Sam Houston. Moke's first offering to Caroline is low and inside for ball one. Won't take much to get Altamont around. As we've seen her speed throughout the afternoon. Another ball low. The girls both take off. And now runners on second and third with two outs. And a 2-0 count on Caroline Itson. That ball is ripped into left. One run is in. Here comes Altamont, and that's going to do it. Itson's going to walk it off here in the fifth. Uh, Sam Houston scores three. 
The solo home run by Mir, and then the two-run single by Itzen is going to do it. Final score from Sam Houston, Sam Houston 10, Neville nothing. And uh, congratulations go out to these ladies. Uh, Sam Houston, good luck throughout the rest of the playoffs. And also congratulations to our girls from Neville moving into the second round here in the Division I non-select playoffs. As they kind of had an up and down season, but kind of put some stuff together, and now they've done a uh, just a, uh, a another stellar season for Coach Dozier and his girls. So as they meet or in the circle to pray it out here, uh, just to so the coach and staff and all the the girls for Neville, congratulations on a great season. But that's going to do it for us here on the Neville Tiger Network as far as softball goes. We appreciate everybody for tuning in throughout this season. Look forward to bringing you some more softball action next year here on the network. For Will Anders, I'm Stuart Shelby saying good afternoon from Moss Bluff, Louisiana. We'll sign off. Uh, Sam Houston wins this one 10 to nothing. We'll be back on the air later this week with baseball playoffs, so stay tuned for that. Good night, everybody.